Hi guys, I've got a clutch of eggs today from one of my oldest ball pythons. She is a yellow belly spider. I have mated her to a freeway and a super blackhead. Um, she's produced a lot of animals for me in the past. She made the bushfire. Um, she's done some really, really good stuff. She is day 35 today, so quite a long um, period between pre-lay and laying. And as you can see, for some reason this year, she decided she didn't want to coil her eggs. It's not something she's ever done before. Um, not something that happens very often. But And you can also see she's looking quite grumpy. So I'm going to pick her up and uh, take her away from the eggs. There we go. You can see her belly's nice and concave and empty. Nothing else left in there. And for a change... I would say 80% of my clutches this year have had slugs in them. We've got a nice healthy looking clutch of seven eggs. Um, they were laid last night, they should come apart fairly easily. Um, nice big chunky eggs, probably 100 gram eggs I'm guessing. In fact, Grab my scales. And out of curiosity, see exactly how much they weigh. Wow, <laughs> 120 grams. So, yeah, they're big old eggs. That's probably the average. Yep. At the average weight 115, 121, 118. So, some very big eggs because these have been rolled out. Um, I will candle them all as well. So, um, I'm going to pause the video and then I'll get a torch and we'll candle it. I'll give this girl a wash and put her away. Okay, so let's have a little look, see where the veins and that are on these eggs because they've not they've been rolled all over the place so let's have a little look can't actually see any veins in this one. oh there they are so the vein they're now on the top now you can just see them probably probably see them better on the camera actually than i can so that one's needs to go up that way like that that one straight away you can see um the veins oh there they are embryo that was actually upside down so that probably wouldn't have hatched if we hadn't moved that let's have a look at this one again that was on its side so this is not something I ever used to really do I've only really sort of started doing this this year and um, every year you lose one or two eggs and maybe this is the reason maybe I've been lax and I should have done this before but I know a few people have said to me how come you don't candle probably only lose a couple of eggs every year but maybe I wouldn't even lose those if I candled them so so this one it's got masses of veins in it I can't oh there's the embryo there okay so cool nice clutch of eggs um, yellow belly spider to freeway and super blackhead so um, don't mind which one gets it I'd like a, a, a nice freeway combo spider freeways are stunning so let's um, Look forward to 60 days time and see what happens. Hi guys, I've got a new clutch pipping today. This is a yellow belly spider to a freeway and a, a super blackhead. Um, they're just they're a couple of days early, but one of them is pipping and the others have started to collapse down. So I'm going to uh, cut them and see what's in there. So this should be quite interesting. Um, this is the guy that's pipping. He's made a hole in a few places. Two or three places, but not doesn't look like he's having a lot of success getting out. So just give him a hand. Oh, there's little tiny holes all over it. He's made I don't, maybe this guy hasn't got a very good egg uh, egg tooth. So uh, maybe this is the sort of snake that would be a uh, a good reason to cut if he can't get out. Yeah, there's some goo in there. So that, 
me, just looks like a spider. I think she's that. I think that's another one that's done what happened the other day. So it's, yeah, that's not alive, unfortunately. Oh, what a shame. Look at that. What a beautiful animal. Yeah, it's um, umbilicus is twisted, or the actually that's that is the membrane that you go around it, and it's constricted this and stopped the blood supply. Unfortunately, it's twisted around in the egg a few times and killed itself. Oh, what a bloody shame! That is really nice. Look at that gorgeous animal. And that could obviously um, it de well, it must it must be no no. This is from the mum, so from dad that would either be um asphalt or yellow belly uh, mum's a yellow belly as well so oh, what a shame not a great start maybe that's maybe you know where it's twisted around and pulled and, and made so many openings and stuff it's, it's twisted it around it but unfortunately if you don't cut it and see it in time there's not a lot you can do about that so um I'll just move him out of the way so that you haven't got a look at him. Okay. So I'm definitely going to cut the rest of these just in case any of these other guys are having any trouble. What a bummer. It's the way my luck's going at the moment. I managed to flood my rat room yesterday. I flooded 18 trays of rats, which was not much fun. So in here is another one of them much brighter looking and that one's also got something wrapped around its cord and that doesn't look very lively either nope so that's two and that one is d that's done the same thing jeez Okay, so two for two dead ones, unfortunately. Which doesn't leave me a lot of hope for the other three. I can feel the animal in this one, it's quite chunky, but it actually does feel like it's moving, but that could just be my imagination. Let's hope so. I mean, if these have. If these have died, it's a very recent thing. Because the eggs have stayed up and yeah, that one's dead as well. Jesus. Yeah, it looks like he's had issues with that. Yeah, look, he's, uh, that's ruptured. So that I'm, I'm going to guess these guys had no, um, no egg teeth. And... Um, I think they've all failed to, to come out, so, you know, uh, maybe this would have been one of those clutches that would have been better if I had cut it earlier. And there's a completely white animal in there. That's an ivory. That's also dead, unfortunately. Hmm. And this one has actually gone a little bit yellowy, so I'd imagine this one's done the same thing. Yep. All bloody spiders as well. There's no, um, no spider free. Oh, I don't know. There's no spider freeways in there, but that one's. Uh, I would say that was gravel looking at the orange flashes up the sides. What a fantastic bloody start to the day. So I didn't hit the spider freeway that I wanted anyway, but besides the point, they're nice looking animals, they would have been, they would have all been um, possible yellow bellies, possible asphalts. And that's the end of that. What a shame. The highs and lows of 
breeding ball pythons and that unfortunately is a great big pile of low. I saw I saw that that had tried to pip last night and maybe I should have done it last night but I didn't and ifs and buts and maybes I'm not going to help them unfortunately. Look at that, that was a stunner. What a shame. So there you go, not the outcome I was looking for. Um, these things happen, you know, I've done 50, 60 clutches of snakes this year. That's the first, um, it's not the first dead babies I've had, but that's the first entire clutch of dead babies I've ever had. So, you know, over the years I've bred hundreds and hundreds of clutches of snakes. I've never had a whole clutch uh, that, that died in the egg. So I've had a good look at them, got my magnifying glass out, I've got my 45 times zoom thing on it and had a look. Can't see an egg tooth on any of them, so it doesn't mean they didn't have them, it just probably means they, they dropped them off in the egg, I don't know. The first egg I cut, as you saw on the video, had lots and lots of little slashes in it, so I just expected them to be good, but I, I would say they've died in the last 24 hours. It's a couple of them have got rigor mortis, so the rigor mortis sets in after about six hours. Uh, and then disappears after a while, so you know they've not been dead very long, unfortunately. Well, whatever way you look at it, they've not been dead very long. So there you go, highs and lows of ball python breeding. No, no deadly genes in there. Free way to spider yellow belly, N nothing uh, deadly. Um, but unfortunately, none of the clutch made it. So there you go. Pretty shit start today, really. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please um, press like. If uh, if you'd be so kind as to subscribe, that would be very helpful. And um, please stay safe out there.